All right, so what we're going to do here is just graphing using our uh, x-intercept. So the main thing I want you know, to remind you of, you know, when you have a graph, when you have a line, all right, um, you're going to have intercepts. It is impossible to graph a line without having at least an x or a y-intercept, right? I mean, the graph is either going to go horizontally, vertically, or more than likely it's going to have a diagonal turn to it, right? So you're going to, it's going to cross one of these axes somewhere. So one way to graph, especially when we have an um, equation in the standard form, F, FYI, this is standard form. Anytime you have ax plus by equal to c, that's what we call standard form. Okay? So when you have your variables on the same side, um, and it's equal to c, we call it standard form. So when you have an equation in standard form, one way to do it is to graph by the, finding the x and y intercepts. So what I do is I look at this x, I look at the x-intercept, right? Here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis, right? Okay. Let's pretend my x-axis is right here. What is the value? Let's say my x-axis is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is the value of y at this point? So my x, x value is negative 5. What's the value of y? Zero, right? So if I want to find the value for in this equation, what I can do is if I say, if I say um, y equals zero, then I'm trying to find my x-intercept. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to do negative 5x plus 2 times 0 equals 10. All right? So 2 times 0 is pretty easy. It's 0. So I have negative. 5x equals 10, divide by negative 5, right? And then you have x equals negative 2. So for actually to graph this, that was just an example, my x-intercept is at negative 2. A lot of times we like to make sure we just plot it, put it in there, right? Cool. All right. So then, guess what? So if to find the x-intercept, I put y equals 0. What do you think you're going to want to do for the y-intercept? x equals 0. X equals 0. All right, and think about it. Right here, what's the x value on this intercept wherever it crosses? Zero, right? So we say x equals zero for the y intercept. All right, so then I just do negative 5 times 0 plus 2y equals 10. So therefore, I get 2y equals 10 divided by 2, y equals 5, right? So then I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 comma 0. So now that I know that um, I have an x and a y intercept, remember to graph a, a, uh, a line, all you need is two points, right? So just connect. And there you go. That's it. That's all you got to do. So that's how you graph using the intercepts. So that's the fun way.